This is Stuff Magazine. I'm Tony from Stuff Magazine. This is the VW California, and I'm going to find out just how good it is and if it can recreate the magic of my 1968 bay window. Right, so let's go and take a look inside. So when it's all tidied away, you've got your two seats at the back and you've got your cupboard space here and a worktop here. Yeah. Right, so that's it all closed up. Open up this in here, worktop, and you get two gas burners. Pop your kettle on there. It's pot noodle time. And you've got a water tap and a little sink there which is connected up to a drinking water reservoir in the back. Open this little thing and you've got a fridge which runs off its own electric circuit and is a fair old size. I could fit most of my arm in there if you wanted to for scale. Wallop. So when it's dinner time table here that slides across, pops out, leg folds down, there you go, there's your table. All you need to do now is spin the front seats around, as I will do now. Cheers. So now we're going to fold down the bed, see how long that takes. Not very long really, and if you just come in to show a detail. So these seat belt clips do actually fold away quite neatly so you're not sleeping on them. Give that a pull. They pop down there. And you're all done. So let's just have a look at the bed when it's all laid out. Nice and big. Enough for two people. One here. One here. And you can raise, you can raise this up and down a little bit to suit your comfort. Now let's take a look at the roof. Right, one of the best design features of this van is the pop-up roof. It's controlled from this centre console here. So, so here I am now in the roof. If you'd like to follow me up, I'll show you around. Hello, I'm over here. Right, this is actually really comfortable. Again, you could fit two people very comfortably. It's actually more comfortable than the bed down there, but maybe not quite as warm because you've only got the canvas now. But you can close these up or have a moment for a bit of light and ventilation and you get a nice little reading light here which I'll just dazzle you with see um, under here it's nicely slatted so there's a fair bit of bounce in it but there's also another nice thing you can do with the roof which I'm going to have to get downstairs to show you so at the moment we've got this set up for a bed in the roof with the roof put up but if you want more head height downstairs all you do is push that up 
now you can walk around you can jump if you want I recommend jumping in it but there you go you can, there's plenty of space um, and then when it's time for bed just pull it down again which is pretty cool I reckon much better than the old kind of bunk beds you would get on the old campers this particular van would set you back around £40,000 it's fairly well specced and includes this sat nav which although it looks good and it's quite easy to use has taken me on far too many wrong turn-ins today and was incapable of coming up with an alternate route and didn't realise when it was going the wrong way so I've given up on that also there's no audio input on this particular van although that is an option so I've had to resort to using my Altec Lansing Orbit speaker and my iPod just have a quick look at the storage you've got in the back this compartment folds down fair bit of space there by speakers also you have two compartments here good size in there this one opens out with a nice little mirror and around the very back you've got another little cubby hole here and underneath that is your gas bottle One final trick it's got is in the sliding door, part of the panel comes away and forms a picnic table that you can use outside of the van, which I'll just show you set up now. One table as promised. And here's the van with the awning out and the table and the chairs. So to sum up, I'm going to give it four stars. It's a fantastic van. Doesn't have the appeal of the classic VW campers. Does cost 40 grand, but aside from that, it's fantastic. That's all for now. For more stuff like this, see stuff.tv or pick up the magazine. Bye.